morning and thank you for joining us this morning. Today is Monday, December the 25th, 2023, and it is Christmas Day. My name's Nicole Grieve, and I'm the parish administrator at St. Bart's Sarnia and St. Paul's Point Edward. We are so glad that you have joined us on this Christmas morning. So let us now take a moment to quiet our hearts and quiet our minds for worship. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In celebration of this light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. Loving God, full of grace and truth, you create us from nothing and give us life. You give your faithful people new life in the water of baptism. You do not turn your face from us, nor cast us aside. We confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbor. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. Restore us for the sake of your Son and bring us to heavenly joy. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Hebrew Scriptures, taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have posted sentinels. All day and all night they shall never be silent. You who remind the Lord, take no rest, and give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes it renowned throughout the earth. 
The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm. I will not again give you your, give your grain to be food for your enemies, and foreigners shall not drink the wine for which you have labored. But those who garnered it shall eat it and praise the Lord, and those who gather it shall drink it in my holy courts. Go through, go through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, clear it of stones, lift up an ensign over the peoples. The Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, say to daughter Zion, see your salvation comes, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Hear the wisdom of the Hebrew scriptures. Thanks be to God. The psalm for today is Psalm 97. The Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you, O Lord. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. A fire goes before you and burns up your enemies on every side. Your lightnings light up the world. The earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare your righteousness, and all the peoples see your glory. Confounded be all who worship, carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before the Lord, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil, preserving the lives of the saints and delivering them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to the holy name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Six. A reading from the Christian writings, taken from the first letter of Peter. Now who will harm you if you are eager to do what is good? But even if you do suffer from doing what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear, and do not be intimidated, but in your hearts sanctify Christ as Lord. Always be ready to make your defense to anyone who demands from you an account of the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and reverence. Keep your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who abuse you for your good conduct in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for, for doing good, if suffering shall be God's will, than to suffer for doing evil. For Christ also suffered from sins once, once for all, the, righteousness, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He will put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey. When God waited patiently in the days of Noah, during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is, eight people, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from your body, but as an appeal to God for good conscience, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church, Thanks be to God.
A reading from the Christian writings, taken from Paul's letter to Titus. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This Spirit he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the Church. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born, not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our faith as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary.
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, as a star rose and drew people from great distances to Bethlehem, that they might greet the Christ child, draw us your church and all of your people to you, that we might be the church and the people who you call us to be. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. As you gave Mary your Holy Spirit, filling her with the delight of your presence, fill us with your spirit and renew our lives. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. As Gentiles stream to Jesus' light and kings to the brightness of his rising star, draw our nation, our prime minister, and all in authority to his brightness. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. As the angels sang glorias and proclaimed peace on earth and goodwill among all people, bring us your peace and bring an end to war and strife. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. As shepherds were drawn away from their flocks by night, draw those who do not know you yet to the knowledge and love of you. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. As Jesus was born in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn, be especially present with those who have nowhere to lay their head, those who are vulnerable, and those who are hungry. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. As the Holy Family gathered together in Bethlehem and traveled together to far off lands, Bless all families, especially those who travel this season. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. As your Son came to proclaim the forgiveness of sins and the gift of life eternal, give to the departed eternal rest and let light perpetual shine upon them. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. We pray for those in our community. And here we offer your own prayers, either offered aloud or in the silence of your heart. For all of this, joy to the world, the Lord has come. O Lord our God, may the light and hope of this season and of your Son's incarnation reassure our hearts that you are among us, that you hear our prayer, and that you will be with us always, even to the end of the age. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. O oh God, our Father, whose word has come among us in the Holy Child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illuminate our hearts and shine in our words and deeds. Through him who is Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God himself, the God of peace, make us perfect and holy, and keep us safe and blameless in spirit, soul, and body. And may the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with us this Christmas day, now and always. Amen. We go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love, and to reflect God's glory. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. <laughs>